Hello, guys and gals. We're back with another episode of Shadows Over Loathing. Okay, so we just finished Sandwich Museum, I'm fairly certain. Um, we got Blood Lore. I can't remember. Oh, the book for blood. That's right, that's right, that's right. Uh, and then we got 5 max HP from that, which is pretty good. Um, so now we're going to look at our to-do list like we do at the start of all of these. Uh, we still need to complete our chemicals course. Um, we did get some strange chemicals from Rufus's lab. Um, we're going to see if that's the fourth chemical that we need for the for the uh, polish. Um, and then some side quests is that Rufus wants us to collect three pounds of eggs. We only need one more of those. Um, and I think it's going to be an ocean city, it seems like. And then uh, we still need some to find some different cheese for the rat. And then uh, Floyd at Fish and Chimps wants us to find him some barbecue sauce still. Uh, let's look at this guy. Does he have any cheese? No. Okay. All right. Well, let's go to Ocean City. We're going to go in here and see what cheese that he have may have for sale. Uh, Haversack. Rocket, Saber, Seltzer, Refrigeration Coil. I am going to look at some stuff that I've sold because if we get a radi something with a radiator that I might have sold somewhere, somebody told me. Um, but I'm not entirely sure, so we will just keep an eye out for it. Um, but he does not seem to have any cheese. So we will... Uh, look for drains, 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 drains. Oh, I need to go to the speakeasy as well. I want to see any drains. Wait, this one? No. Okay, it has to be a manhole. Manhole. Manhole, manhole, manhole. Okay. Hi, Dan. Right back at you, baby. What's new? Uh, I found this case of absinthe. Ah. This will attract some dour, artsy types. I love it. What does it do for me? Miscality and Moxie. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. So when I'm inside a building for some reason, and I sneak, I hear the shushing sound. Okay, only in the speakeasy for some reason. Unless I'm mistaken. No, it's when I'm walking. Why is it only shushing in the speakeasy? Oh, I don't want to do this guy. Uh, Don Toblerone speaking. Don, that was an unusually concise. Are you feeling okay? The boss is mad about our telephone bill. I have been encouraged to keep this brief. Oh, thank God. I see. Well, that's... Uh, what's the job? Greasy Steve will have the details for you. Oh, okay. Thank... Jesus. Oh, my goodness. Let's go back into our room. Uh, you hang your poster up, making space for a seeming even more like a messy dorm room. That's how I like it. You set Rufus's hot plate on your desk. Nice. Blame Coop. Do I only get one poster from that building? Oh, yes, I can do these things now in my room. Uh, false cheese. Okay, let's make that. It's not cheese, but, you know, it says the word cheese. So we're going to give it to the... Uh, we're going to give it to the rat. All right, yes, I too. Go Badgers! <laughs> okay, so now we need to find another manhole. Um... I'm not entirely sure where. I don't think it's going to be on this stage. I think actually... Wait, hang on. Muscle. Okay, I need eight mysticality for the next one. Um, I think I think it was at the apartment complex for uh, Traveling Salesman. And I'm wrong. Unless if they have a basement. Do that. Oh, wait, what? I don't remember this being here. Shadow Salad. Increases mysticality by one and damage every magical weapon attacks by five. 
Bathroom door is locked. Only she's allowed in the kitchen. Oh. Oh, I got the bathroom key. Oh. What's new in here? Oh, 50. 50 EXP. Rhino Balm. And Mercury Eye Drops. Fish. Disgusting. I love it. Shadow Mead. Meat drops by 70%. Well, I know what to use if I ever need to go uh, farming meat. Shadow Elixir. Nice. Now, what about the kitchen, lady? Alright, well, whatever. Well, I'm glad I came back here, though. Boardwalk? Does Boardwalk have a... Uh, a uh, thing? Hey, boss. Ah, my trusted lieutenant, uh, Betty Nickel. Close enough. What's up? Nothing in particular. I just happened to see you and thought I'd say, hey, go get him. Great job. Keep it up. That sort of thing. Gosh. I literally have zero idea what it is you're doing, though. Well, me either, but it hasn't stopped me. You're an inspiration to us all. Well, I need nine all stats, yeah. Does she have cheese by chance? No. Okay. It's not here. Is it at the fridge factory? We're just kind of going to go uh, everywhere. Oh, I guess we're fighting. These easy peasy lemon squeeze me. Glockenspiels. Easy peasy. Wee. Okay. Manhole, 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 manhole. What's going on over here? I don't remember this part. Oh, maybe. Maybe I did do this part. Oh, it's been a long time. All right, well, let's go inside. Is there a manhole to down in here somewhere? Um, okay, well. Oh, yeah, if I ever needed something with a giant ice cube, I know uh, where to get it. Scare? Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, because I got the Eldric uh, stuff or Arcanist stuff. I haven't had a battle to where I'm like in desperate need of anything like this, but um, let's see. Oh, I know this doesn't cost any of those things at all. Okay, so we'll make one of those. We'll make one of each. How about that? Okay. Combat, not basic combat item. Don't need anything from there. Okay, let's just knock him out. We'll go to the church next. This is a muggery. No muggery here. <laughs> just drop a whole bunch of pianos on him. Excuse me. Uh, you know, a church, they do have a basement. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Manhole? Yes, manhole. Climb down. Another shadow salad. Fairly certain that's nothing. Okay. Wait, can I fish in that thing? Yell into it. Thankfully, nobody answers. Oh, well, okay. Looks like this fishman has set up a little casino fun. Oh, okay. Bartender nods politely. Order a drink. Blah, 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 blah. He holds up a bottle of some kind of greenish brown liquid that you assume is probably mostly kelp juice or sewer moss squeezings. Buy whatever it is. Fishman concoction. Okay. Meat. 
This is the second drunkest fishman you've ever seen. Play a game. The game seems to consist of throwing a handful of pebbles and rusty nails on the table. It's both very simple and very vague. Watch for a while. The player next to you puts some fishman eggs on the table. The cop, the croup, croupier, picks up the pebbles and nails and hands the to the player, who shakes them up and scatters them across the table. The croupier scans the results and shakes his head. The player scrowls and the croup croupier takes his eggs. Hmm. You continue watching. The fishman, great gambler, andies up some eggs again. The croupier passes the assorted objects to the gambler, who considers them for a moment and then flings them onto the table. The croupier scans the, the results, then shakes his head. The player scrowls, and the croupier takes his eggs. Let's place a bet. You put some meat on the table. The croupier blinks at it, it but doesn't object. He picks up the nails and pebbles and hands them to you. You shake them up and drop them on the table. They bounce and roll a little, but quickly come to rest. The croupier shakes his head and takes your meat. Watch the other player for a bit. You keep your eye on the game, not exactly sure what's going on. The other player places the eggy bed, or another eggy bed. Once again, the dealer gives the pebbles and nails to the fisherman, who then tosses them vigorously on the table. The croupier frowns and makes a sweep, sweeping gesture, then picks up all the nails and pebbles and hands them back to the player. The player makes a grumbly blech sound, then tosses them on the table again. The croupier looks at the nails and pebbles and shakes his head. The player makes an argumentative noise and points at one of the nails. The croupier sighs and peers at it closer, then shakes his head definitely and takes the player's eggs. Defiantly, and shakes, and the player pouts. Place a bet. Hey, there we go. You put some meat on the table. The croupier blinks at it, but doesn't object. He picks up the nails and pebbles and hands them to you. You shake them up and drop them on the table. Once they bounce and roll a little, they quickly come to rest. The croupier looks at them and nods at you. You carefully consider the arrangement of pebbles and nails and choose a nail to retoss. When the nail comes to rest, the croupier looks impressed. He adds a pile of fishman eggs to your meat and pushes them toward you. You won, apparently. Hey, spiffy. Okay, so I believe that's all I need. It's just three stacks, right? So now if I go uh, bus stop, let's go to SAT campus. We'll go to Rufus's lab. We'll bamboozle them out again. I got the eggs. Oh, great. Let me just process these in. Oh, whoops. I misplaced the decimal. I only needed 0.3 pounds of eggs. Well, now I got plenty of this group. We can keep the extra eggs. Hooray! You also need this. Municipal contraption. Take it to River Bridge. And now I just slather you with this foul-smelling jelly and come back and see me if you need it reapplied. Minus one to everything. Okay. Cleans up. Uh, oh, okay. Double hooray. Let's go talk to Mr. Rat. I have fake cheese, though. No. Okay. We are going to the bridge. As ordered. Book reader, just like you, this nerd, is actions not like a Jocelyn, which is us, I agree. I, that is a baloney, I am not a nerd. Oh ho, so you prove it then, by we wrestle arms. If you win, then not a nerd you are, okay? What if I lose? Then we are swirl your head in toilet. I don't want that. Nobody does. Win arm wrestling. You and the Jocelyn face off, elbows at the table. After a few minutes of clenched teeth straining, the two of you manage to remember the rules of arm wrestling and start the match. The Jocelyn is a tough cookie, but eventually you beat them. So there. Okay, fairness is fairness. We admit that nerd you are not. Well, thanks. Little do they actually know. Uh, uh, oh, use the tool that Rufus gave you. The wrench box opens, destroying the tool in the process. Climb on down. Adopt a bank. The section of the bank is kept clean and safe for the fine folks of the SAT chemicals department. Buy? Buy the fine folks, I see. Oh, here's some hobo code. The code reads, I'm hiding behind the next pilling to the left. Come say hello. Oh, there's just shoes. Rubber, oh, do they squeak? Oh, they don't squeak. 
That's okay, I'll still wear these. These are pretty good boots. Oh, you took behind the bridge pile and find a hobo sitting there with a fishing pole. He wasn't even particularly hiding, weird to see, you just didn't see him before. Well, hi there. You must have seen my Noah in the other pillar. My name's Walter. Hi, Tootsie. What are you living? Hi, <laughs> I'm Tootsie. Are you living under the bridge? For the moment. I'll probably move on soon because SIT students keep throwing weird rocks down here. But it's projected, protected from the rain and the fishing is good. So it's a pretty nice spot for, to camp for a while. What about the fishmen? Those fellows with glowing eyes? Well, they're a little bit leery of me at first, but I guess they decided I was harmless. Maybe all the raw fish I've been handling rub off on me. Makes sense, I guess. Uh, ask him about hobo code. And then, uh, do you know any hobo code that you could teach me? Mostly fishing related ones, but sure. Everyone should know the industrial chemicals dumping spot sign in particular. Oh, yeah, I bet you get real weird fish there. Got one or two, one with two butts once. Do you mean tails? <laughs> nope. Uh, ask him about fishing. I guess I picked it up a trick or two. You looking for some pointers? Sure, that'd be great. So far, I figured out how you hold on to a long, stiff pole and then dangle a sharp wire into the water. Well, there's a sentence that stopped being a double entendre really fast. Here, let's expand on that knowledge a bit. Expert fishery. Oh, you know when to fold your bait and know when to hold it. Thanks. If you're looking to move in a way, there's a hobo camp on the outskirts of Ocean City. They probably use someone with your fishing acumen. I just use regular tackle, but that sounds like a pretty good deal. I'll head there directly. Nice. Okay. Oh, I hear bouncing noises now. Oh, that's okay. That's good. It's a nasty mud hole. Is it a cloaca covered in mud worse than a regular cloaca? Ugh. Well, there's one way to find out. Geronimo! You emerge from that disgusting hole into a slightly less disgusting cave. Although, let's not be unclear here. The cave is very disgusting. Wet piles of eggs litter the uneven ground. And you hear a quiet, gurgly breathing sound from the other end of the cavern. Let's get Rufus his stupid pearl. Nasty eggs. Boing, 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 boing. Step through Shadow Rift. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Not good. Okay. Oxygen. Here we go. Go, 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 go. I don't know what I'm looking for, but go, 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 go. Wait, can I breathe this? Uh, uh, no. Uh, I guess I don't. Uh oh. Okay, game. Thanks. Thanks, game. I guess I don't need to breathe in here. All right. I see what's going on here. Pulling a wool over my eyes, huh? Thinking you can get the best of me. I was wondering. I was like, wait, I got gills. Why do I need to breathe down here? Well, game's got a game. Then trick, I don't need to breathe. Oh. Ooh, are you going to give me a challenge? <coughs> well, this is most definitely the fish mother. I hear a smooth, melodious melodio, 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 voice speaking directly into your mind. You are a cunning and wily human to have bypassed the defenses of this place. Uh, thanks. Don't ask how I did it. I already know. Fear not. The eggs I give my children to take care of are largely non-viable. It helps keep them out of trouble if they think they have responsibilities. Why have you sought this audience uh, with me, human? Well... Well, it's about the pearls. Ah, so you're a treasure hunter, are you? You who have killed 18 of my children. Yes, I counted. I have the further timetry to trick your way into my lair in pursuit of a material wealth. Well, it's not like that. Your words are the ashes of one of those paint pants are aflame, human. I will grant you no such boon. Nuts. I guess we're fighting her for it. Um, how much health does she have? 54. That's, like, nothing, but... Uh, alrighty, we'll just do this, because this guy is, uh... Nuts. Just killed two of them. Oh, oh, that's right, he's acting four times. And guess what, we're doing it again. Uh... I should increase the difficulty of the game. This isn't very challenging.
now you just die. Jesus. Well, you won! Hopefully that won't set off a practical human fish war or anything. The fish mother's pearl. Nice. I don't care if it sets off a human fish war. Screw the fishmen. Oh, what's going on over here? Is this an infinite, uh... Go fishing. Fighting, actually. Fairly certain this is just an infinite way of killing fish. You know, making my thing attack four times. Well, eight times total. Plus its initial attack is just... It's just silly. I don't want to use this. It's gonna... To, wait, can I pass my turn? Skip, skip me. I don't want to surrender. Uh, whatever. This fish mother's nursery cave. We'll do one more. I think this is just a place where you infinitely fight fishmen. Just like how there's a place where you can infinitely fight uh, mushrooms, spiders. Yeah, I'm fairly certain that's just a infinite spawn of fishmen. If we ever need to like get stuff that the fishmen drop. Okay. Bucket of chum. The chum bucket. All right, well, we got the pearl. Now we can go to Rufus's lab. B-A-S-E-B-A-L-L. -L. Baseball. What does that spell? Baseball. Huh. Yes, hooray. We have got it right in that time. Let us now spell another one. Good, yes. What is, is it to spell? Oh, my God. Flockinacinifilification. Oh, that is a good one. F L O C C I N A. <laughs> you leave while they're distracted. I got the pearl. Don't ask me for details. That gross, huh? No questions. Wow, the pearl is really a beaut. I'm going to have to get into hardcore analysis mode for a while. I'll give you a call when I figure it out the next step from my plan. All right. Can I get rid of this uh, gross stuff now? Much better. Okay, so we did Rufus's thing. Let's go to the chemical lab. Uh, and then see if we can make the polish. See if that's the weird chemical that we need. Uh, let's see, make something. Nope, I still only have three. Let's see if it's in here. Rufus special rag, fishman concoction, rhino balm, false cheese. Championship belt. Unidentified chemicals. Shadow milkshake. Um, what was it that I got from him? I don't think it's. I don't think it's what I need. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. That's what. Whatever it was that I found from Rufus is what I need. Manhole opener, I still have that. Uh, whoop, never mind. Um, miscellany. Interesting, okay, well. The only thing I can think of right now is Glock and Malt Ball, Grease Bomb, Glock and Rubber, Stink Bomb, Paper Clip. Okay, well, 
Um, well, now the only thing I can think of is going back to the fish and chips and talk to uh, Greasy Steve. Greasy Steve. Greasy Steve swallows and drags his sleeves across his mouth. Hey, all right, kid. I'm going to say, I have a French fry. They have fries here? I didn't even see that on the menu. I brought my own from home. Thanks, I'll, I'll pass. What's the job? The boss decided mm, that we need to send a message to Congressman Chutney, you familiar? Mm, sure, a message. When a uh, message is when information is conveyed from one person to another. Mm, I met with the congressman. Never met him. His son Chadley is a student here. Mm, he lives on one of the front houses. Uh, uh, is that Omega Omicron? I know that place, so mm, you're going to make the young Chad sleep with the fishes. Uh, whoa, I didn't sign up for Greasy Steve passes you a large sack of rotting fish. No, well, I didn't sign up for this either. Uh, look, all you got to do is get the kids in the kids room. And with the, it's a lead pipe cinch. I don't know what that means, but okay. Uh, which one was it? This one? Hoing! Oh, hello. Did you find yourself in need of fuse this fine day? No, thank you. Until next semester, then. IHTPF! Or IS <laughs> IHTFP! Okay. Oh, definitely was not this one. Definitely don't need to be back here. I don't think it's this one either. Can't do anything with this still. I, I definitely believe that they got turned into stone. Like, this whole entire area was definitely turned into stone. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back this way. Do 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 do. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? The gold plated door is a sign on it that says C Chutney. It seems reasonable to assume that C stands for Chadley. Go inside. You sneak inside the Chad's room and dump the running fish out onto his bed after tonight's inevitable rager. He'll stagger back into his room, pass out without even noticing them. Perfect crying. Bada bing, bada boom. So how'd you go, kid? You got some news for me? Yeah, the kid's bed is full of fish. It was a lead pipe cinch, like you said. I still don't know what that means, though. <laughs> Nobody does. That's what makes it such a great turn of phrase. Anyway, mm, nice job, kid. Now go to Congressman Chutney. We'll, we'll really know what he's dealing with. Uh, he sure will. Okay. That's a lot of meat. I don't know what to do for chemistry. What else we got? We just, okay, barbecue sauce and some cheese, which I don't. I don't uh, um, let's go back to Rufus's lab. I don't freaking remember. Um, what I got from him? Like, I feel like I did get something from him, but. What should I do with the extra fish minigs? Well, I can cook them for you. Oh, nice. 5 HP general per round. That's insane. Thanks. Do you know anything about chemistry? Oh, no. Okay. Big pile of composed 80% garbage and 20% miscellaneous electrical parts. Well, I don't have the moxie for that. <sighs> I guess we'll go back to chemicals. Um... I'm really half tempted to uh, just look it up because I mean, like, I don't think it's any of this. What do you want to take? This. What do you want to give? This. I guess. Any more of that? Nah. Uh. Okay. A polish for chrome. Should you be making over an experiment there? Thinking about how. 
to thinking about how to doing it with. Alrighty. Someone's left the book mark of last alchemic symbols and various images. Okay. I am actually going to do that because I I don't know. I've been up and down everywhere and I don't freaking know what I'm missing. Okay, um... Okay, I've been trying to get arsenic and shadows over loading chemistry. Well, it's not arsenic that I need. Um, bah, 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 bah. Okay, so... Someone is talking about the soda factory. Let's go to the library um, and see if she mentioned it at all. Because I don't remember them talking about anything. It's just the only thing she knows. I know anything about chemicals. Did you notice the bronze statue in the foyer? It's a life-size statue of Dr. Adams, the founder of the department. Not just life-size, but incredibly life-like as well. Whoever sculpted it, there's a thing or two. And that's all she gives me. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Chemicals. Dr. Adams. Okay. Look up a name. Dr. Adams. Okay, what do I have to do, right? Do I have to put the dot? No, I can't. It won't let me put a dot. No entry. Well, I'm going to follow what's happening here, and we're going to go to the factory. Well, let's go to the hobo camp first. I don't remember this saying it's soda factory. Where's the fisherman guy? I don't think he's in here. Nope, still just the one sleeping hobo. <laughs> boing, 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 there he is. Hey, Walter. Oh, hey, thanks for telling me about this place. This fine little community. Nice, I'm glad you're settling in. Yep, I'm accustomed to the solitary life of the fishermen, but it's nice to have some folks to come home at the end of the day, and nobody's complained about the smell. <laughs> <coughs> well, good. Hands off my telephone. <laughs> Cryptography. Say, let us, what is this with this poster? It's a general purpose hobo code glass I'm working on. There's a bunch of blacked out, though. Yeah, well, it's experimental. I think I've done all this already. Am I, like, is there something in here that will tell me the thing that I'm missing? Okay, well. Okay, has a soda factory east of the Tentacle House. Tentacle House. Oh, well, this is the no house, so regular house. Am I missing the soda factory?
I'm gonna keep looking, because I, I'm completely stumped, like... Okay, so... After you toss everything in the river, Gilbert will tell you to make chrome polish. Easy peasy, just trial and error by the table, right? Well, it turns out only two of the four hoppers are full. And here's where the puzzle comes in. Experimenting will ask you in which order you want to make the chemicals. It's that, excuse me, it's actually important. After experimenting well, you may notice the first two numbers determine the material of the solution. And the last two numbers determine the effect of the solution. It's pretty nice to know because you have to go through every single four-digit combination, but rather just the two-digit combinations for the first and second half. If you figured out 1-1 one, one is baloney, you don't need to do 1-1-1-2 one, 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 or 1-1-2-1. One, one, because the results of the baloney, uh, something juice, same for the back end, 11, or blank blank 1-1 one, one is bleach, so you don't need to do 12-11 or 21-11, because it'll always be bleach. Here's all the combinations with the first two elements. Uh, okay. A book is beside the station, a complete and practical guide to the various alchemic substances and their properties. For the UFE, here, I'll just do this. Uh, let's see, are the UFE students in the classroom setting? Which of you get bored reading the title and stop halfway through is supposed to help you solve the puzzle? Unfortunately, the pages are too stiff to turn. The book is made of vellum. Vellum. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need vellum softener, which I already did. The only thing is the monsters in the arm are monsters. You don't need any resistances or MMM strat to get the arsenic answer. It's in the drawer in room 3B. 3B. Now you have arsenic... Here's the new combinations. Okay, the statue at the chemicals department is bronze, life-size and even lifelike. That's what I... Hint, yeah. Hint two, you need to make something to pour on the statue. The game will tell you it seems useful, but for what? Once you've made it the right one. Answer, make bronze ref reviving juice. Oh. So it was supposed to be me just literally spamming... Uh, okay. It was supposed to be me just spamming chemicals. Alright. I don't think I would, because I thought I literally did everything, but apparently I did not. And it, with the, the, with the puzzle, I just never figured out that the first two determine the, the, the like, type of a chemical thing it is. So, alright, whatever, at least we got that figured out, we can, can continue, because it's just, I was going to be stuck on that forever. Alright. So we need to make uh, bronze reviving juice. So it was arsenic, mercury, arsenic, lead. Bronze reviving, revivifying juice. Keep it. Ah! You splash revivifier on the statue and gradually me the metallic bronze colors turn into more of the regular flesh tones. Oh, and also clothes. Clothes tones. Oh, goodness. Goodness me. Is it Monday already? Yeah, it's Thursday, sir. Thursday, 1928. Well, that's it all. I knew I would have a fed an alarm. Ah, do forgive me for not introducing myself. I am Dr. Ambrose Adams. I know, I read it on your plaque. Plaque? He steps down off the, the plinth and takes a look. Marvelous, how very kind of them. My name's Tutorial. A pleasure indeed. 1928, you say? That would make it... Huh, 205 years. So much for the faculty luncheon. Did you, did you bronze yourself deliberately? Why, yes, quite it so. My new formula required testing, you see, and I had no plans of particular import for the weekend. I thought perhaps I'd skip ahead a bit. A graduate student was instructed to awaken me. If he comes back asking for me for a letter of recommendation, I shall have some rather stern words for him. It's probably dead. 
Ah, uh, of course. Well, and I shall call this is just desserts. Anyway, welcome to the future. Well, thank you. Yes, indeed. I find myself rather excited for the prospect, you know. Has anything good been invented? Well, they're working on something called television. Apparently, it's like moving pictures, except you'll be able to have one in your home. Well, I must say, that sounds ridiculous. Whoever's heard of such a moving picture? Well, yeah, you missed a lot. I suppose I am in need of a guide. I might impose to accompany you. Sure. In fact, there's something I think you might be able to help me with. Oh, pray tell. I got chemicals assigned that give me some trouble. Are you familiar with old alchemy symbols? Huh, young man, is a feline acquainted with his own anus? <laughs> okay. Oh, he's a companion. Hey, Molly, mind waiting for me at the Creeper Crystal? Okay, Buck, just... But it's rude to keep a girl waiting. Uh, okay, I'm kind of interested to see what he does. Oh. Wait, do I uh, talk to him? Oh, ah, it's nice to be back in the laboratory again, smelling that good old chemical smell. Well, I'll be smelling... Oh, well, I'll be smelling anything other than bronze as a point of fact. Wait, were you actually conscious while you were bronze? I'd rather not speak of it. Okay, that's not helping me. Oh, here we go. A Stratolini Multialbamic. And that... <laughs> and they're still in use in modern times? I would have thought the technology would be much more advanced by now. The class I'm taking is pretty introductory. The professor said he has starting with the basics. Ah, I see. Well, that's quite reasonable. What seems to be the trouble? The last hopper's empty, and I don't know what's supposed to go in there. The book here doesn't list the symbol. Does it not? How embarrassing. Praise. Allow me to correct it. He pulls a quin out in ink spots, pockets, and starts writing the book. Uh, should you be doing that? Why not? It is my book, after all. Still in good condition, I'm pleased to see. This is the advantage of proper vellum page over paper, of course, and my colleagues made fun of me for being old-fashioned. Well, I don't see their, f their shoddy paper books in this classroom. Ha! He blows gently on the ink to dry it and gestures grandly toward the book. There you are, duly corrected. Thanks. Lithium. Okay, so where do I get lithium? Do you know where I can get some lithium? Lithium? Hmm. This is tricky for getting, but you need know Professor Gilbert did hiring about a soda company to putting in lithium in the sodas that was the year previous. What? Why? Lithium to making you thirsty. A feedback loop of very profit. Unfortunately, the lithium also you very confused to making, and your bowels either none at all or way too much. The business they are going out of. Well, rats. That's not much help then. Ah, but... Their factory in Ocean City is still there where it is. So perhaps quantity of lithium you're finding there? Okay, I'll check it out. Back to Ocean City, and here's the soda factory. <laughs> Excuse me then, my good chap. Might you have a match on your person? Uh... <laughs> no, but also yes. Uh, well... Thanks all the same. Toodaloo. Toodle off. So rude. This place is pretty abandoned, all right. All that's left is a metal storage cabinet and a few crates of empty soda bottles. Not even any bottle caps left. Fooey. This open crate is full of empty soda bottles, or rather half full. It has two cases of bottles left in it. This metal cabinet seems to be the only thing of substance left, probably because it was bolted to the floor and locked to the combination lock. That looks pretty standard for a four-digit combination. Bracker open. Bag of loose lithium. Awesome. This, this frickin' uh, class has been a pain in my ass. Alright, back to the bus stop. Back to the campus. Back to the chemicals building. Contradict findings. Make this damn thing. Okay. 
Drop in the bag of lithium. Make something. Let's do four, two, three, one. What I make? Gold strengthening juice. Okay, we're gonna keep it. A vial of gold strengthener. So gold is. I'm gonna do this part on my own. Okay, so gold was four. Four one, right? So what's four three two one? Leather strengthening juice. Okay. Keep it. Why not? Make something for two, three, one. Oh, I just did <laughs> flush it. I already have it. Try again. For one, two, three. Chrome polishing juice. Hey, nice. Keep it. Vial of chrome polish. Oh, hello. To experiment, how going is it? I've finished. Oh, -ho. Professor Gilbert will be judge of that. Takes the rag and a sample and of chromed metal out of his desk drawer to test your polish. Yes, yes, this is very good of a polish. Well doing. Thanks. You have passing the class with colorful flight. Professor Gilbert will be assigning a transcript of yours in gladness. They sign your transcript with flourish and then leave the room chattering excitedly about how great their motorcycle fenders are going to look. I have graduated. Thank God. Go back to the main lobby. Fighting. Um. Let's do this. Right. And then this. And then this. Oh god, he's gonna die before I even get a chance to see what he does. Um, poison shadows for six, so six poison, and heal. Kya! I see. Nope, I still prefer Molly. Still very much prefer Molly. Okay. Uh, talk. Speak easy. Ciao. Okay. Uh, library. How can I assist you? Oh, wait, I need to go back here. Hey there, Ted. I passed my classes, see? You hand Ted your transcript and he inspects it carefully. After a moment, he nods and hands you back the transcript, gestures at the door with a thumb. Thanks, Ted. Enter the stacks. Oh my goodness, this curse I... Oh! Uh... Hi. This is not what I expected at all. Um... This old man is chanting something in a language you can't understand, apparently conducting some kind of dark ritual with a rather important-looking book which you already have noticed is generating some kind of ominous dark portal. Um, excuse me. Ah! Why you are? Can't you see I'm busy? Well, it's just I'm looking for a certain book, and I'll be frankly amazed if it isn't the one that you've got on the pedestal there. Ah, uh, do you think I'm just gonna give it to you? Get out of here! Who are you? Don't you don't recognize me? Should I? I've only been enrolled here for the afternoon. I'm Dean Wormwood, and if you do not leave immediately, I will expel you. I already graduated. I meant out of this dimension. Oh. What exactly are you doing? Didn't I just tell you not to interrupt me? Yeah, but you already in you're already interrupted now, so you might as well tell me, right? Oh yes, yeah, certainly. I'll just reveal my entire plan to some random grad student. Who even are you? That would certainly be to my advantage. What? Are you being sarcastic? A stellar observ uh, observation. Full marks. Now get out of here before I put you double street secret probation. Jeez, I need to get sore about it. Uh, let's criticize his candles. I gotta say, though, I don't think you're gonna get very far with those candles. Excuse me? You need some proper occult candles for a job like this, not store-bought. Listen, I know a guy. I'll have you know I made these candles myself. They're pure beeswax and virgin's blood. Virgin's blood? On a college campus? Think again, buddy. <laughs> it's a nerd college, you fool. Virgins are plentiful. Sure. 
about as plentiful as beehives, right? What? Are you implying that my beeswax isn't? No, don't touch that. The dean rushes forward as you reach to pick up one of the candles and accidentally brushes against the portal. He screeches in pain and terror as he's sucked in with a whoosh, like a mouse caught by shot back, and then the portal vanishes with a quiet pop. Whoopsie daisy. Well, the portal's still there. Oh, wait, this is just a copy of a student handbook. There's nothing unusual about it. Well, shoot, that curse book has got to be around here somewhere, though. It's probably in the Shadow Rift. Oh. Hobo. Oh, there's the book. Hobo Code. The Psychography of Panhandling. Gant grants the meat drops perk. Read it. Expert panhandle, panhandly, 25 meat drops. Oh, I see the hobo code now. Okay, so let's do this then. Let's go through the portal first. Nope. Incorporate it. It's a floating in. Incorporate it. In. Oh. Oh. I yeah, I didn't think so. Um, o P E N. It's the only other word I can think of. Oh! Braun Peck. Oh, four letters. Oh, well, again, it's not open again. Is it rope? Nope. Is it neck? It is not neck. Is it... Uh, let's see. R... Uh, let's see. Can I do the same letter twice? I can. Well, that opens up things. Well, it's not peak. Is it... Let's see. Noon? It's not open again, is it? I swear to God, if it's just open again, like, what was the point of all these new letters? Okay, no. Um, God. Oh my goodness, I hate these types of puzzles. I'm usually really good at them, but I don't. I don't have any hints of what they're looking for. Um. P. O. P. E. Well, it's not Pope. Um. Huh. Well, there's two vowels, okay? So O and E has to go in it somewhere. Um, let's see, is it bone? Not bone. All right, I need to write these down or else I'm gonna just be guessing a crap ton of letters for no reason. Or words, the same ones over and over again. Okay, we tried open. We tried rope. We tried um, pope. We just tried bone. We tried peak. I don't think any of those worked. Um, is it, <laughs> is it poop? Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, it's fucking hilarious. Oh, it made fart noises. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Um, Bono. Not Bono. Or Bono, however you want to say it. Oh boy. Um. <laughs> oh god. I tried rope already. Uh, is it nope this time? Uh, nope is the answer to that. Okay. How am I even supposed to... Is there something with the floating books? I don't think there is. No. There's nothing with the floating books that's supposed to help me. Okay, think of what it... Okay, so maybe it's an item, right? It's going to give me an item or something whenever I complete it. What type of item would be in this game, right? Book? Am I that... Am I that dumb? Wow. Okay. Got it. Close it. Open book. Oh, man. I'm glad I've got that Easter egg, though. That's fucking hilarious. Okay. Let's get this book and get out of here. Check out as an examinant or as in borrow it from the library. Both. Librium Umbra Malum Ovila. Interesting. Alright, get me the F out of here. Oh, I got a new message. Oh, God. Uh, salatory Greek. Greed. No, I don't want to do this. I refuse. I thought your boss said to keep it brief. We devised and then agreed upon a ring. Agree. A grant. Let me guess. You're paying the phone bill. Your guess and powers is yes. Correct. That's what they tell me. You've got another job? Yes. Uh, under. Oh, Greasy Steve. Okay, got it. Bye. Let's let's do that first. Let's go back to Greasy Steve. I, I didn't think I'd have to do that voice this many times, but uh, here we are. Oh, I forgot to get. Uh, that's baloney. I'm not a nerd. Um, I forgot to get me and my companion back. Okay. You sit down. What's up with the grim look, Steve? Mm -hmm. uh, got a serious job for you, kid, this time. And I ain't gonna be easy. <laughs> After those last two jobs, I could do with a challenge. Mm, that's an attitude that'll take you far, kid. Maybe right off a cliff, though. Mm -hmm. So what's up? There's a vampire. A real mean SOB. Mm -hmm. That. Mm, that that we got one off our ca uh, capos really uh, steamed or like really steamed and it's literally steamed to death a guy to death <laughs> what and one of those mist type vampires you know the real hot and I don't mean hot as in good looking I see maybe mm, the fight was in the steam tunnel under the SIT mm. we managed to seal the thing up in there but someone's got to take care of it for good mm. and that's where I come in that's a long and short of it, kid. Here's a combination of the dole, but don't go behind there half-cocked. Mm. He hands you a folded slip of paper and a sack of rotting vegetables. How are these supposed to help? Mm. If they're not, I just want you to throw them away for me, or hell, keep them, I don't care. <laughs> it's a weapon? Oh, it's a melee weapon. Sweet. It's well, thanks. All right, well, before I do that, just in case it is difficult, I highlight out it is. But we're going to go back to the speakeasy. We're going to pick up Molly.
Okay. And now we're going... Molly, right? Yes, okay. Now we're going back to... Campus. We're going to Rufus's lab. And now we got a, this thing, right? You use the combination that Grease Steve gave you. Steve's note says one, two, three. Jesus, guys. You dialed in the combo and the lock clicks it. Head open inside. This old dis disintegrating boiler is currently being powered by a bunch of burning garbage. The vampires seem to enjoy the hot steam. Consider the boiler. Hmm. If you could replace the water in the boiler with holy water, that would put a cramp in their fun. You'd only need about 100 gallons of it. When am I going to get 100 gallons of holy water? Hey, don't ask me. I'm just suggesting things. Wait, aren't vampires also allergic to running water? Even if it is only? Does steam count as running water? Hmm. Convince them vampires that steam is deadly. Come back later with maybe 100 gallons of holy water. Can I just fight them? Oh, yeah. Talk to them. You seem like you got something to say. Me? I'm merely amused that these mob ruffians have sent in a ne neophyte to clean up a mess of which of their own lieutenants could not. I will boil your blood like a sweet mulled wine, human, and my servants and I will drink a toast to your demise. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was expecting. I thought this was supposed to be hard. Oh my god, I was going to do 50 cold damage to that guy. Snore. 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 Snore, snore, snore. Done. Excellent. Okay. Fish. Let's go fishing. I stepped pretty far away to go fishing. Oh, we're fishing in the pipe hole. Ah, I see. Handful of steam. How is that even possible? You already got as much steam as you want to carry. Deals five hot damage. Nice. Okay, so let's go back to Grease Steve. Mm, mm, kid, I also didn't see it to uh, expect you again. You got a real talent. Oh, it was nothing. Nah. Don't sell yourself short. Mm. You got a real future in the organization. Mm. You got a briefcase full of meat. That's probably the last job you'll be getting from me. Damn, the fatal blood of the bloodsuckers in this territory. So if the boss is any more work for you, they're probably somewhere else. Good luck, kid. Uh -huh. Thanks, Steve. See you around. Okay. Back to Ocean City. Back to Antiques. Back to talk to Jessica. All right. We just got to uncurse the book. Wait, I can uncurse the cursed fishing rod? Oh. Okay, we'll do the fishing rod first, actually. The machine winds up whirring and humming in old intervals, casting about for some elusive frequency. This continues for some time, and you begin to have difficulty breathing. Just as you fear you might pass out of the in 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 incessant cycling, suddenly stops with a pop. The curse has been removed, and you can breathe once again. Go fishing? Oh. Choose me, choose me, in this night he chooses me, to live a new life above the sea. Oh. Ho, oh, choose me, 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 me. This is, oh. Hear her song. <laughs> nobody sees and nobody woos, poor old invisible global roo. But you could make this looser a winner if you were birth me upstairs as somebody's dinner. Okay. <laughs> Nobody knows a trout as sweet as saucy Mr. Clark Calvin meat. I like to kiss the other trout on the tails or thereabouts, but I'll tell you my most base desire to be fished and thrown into a fryer. Not that one. I like the Viking helmet. I make mischief. I'm a wretched soul. Chaos is a fisher stick's only goal. Well, 
almost only. See, I'm very lonely, and to you I won't lie, but tonight I'd like to die. But your hook and then be cooked. <laughs> I'm choosing Fisher sticks. <gasps> oh my god, he just died. <laughs> he just fell over. Huh. Your mind tingles. The fishing rod's curse has caught another fish today. And you get the feeling that more fish you help him catch, the happier he'll be. Wait. Who's he? Oh, well, you know, deep in your gut. That's the curse is a man. Not in the way that sailors talk about their, with their ships using female pronouns. This isn't a male curse. This curse is a man. Weird. Um. Wait, what? You sit in the chair, which is surprisingly comfortable. Uncurse, project, neither. Press project. Can I go here again? Choose me, 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 me. There's there only two left. Okay, no, they're still there. Wait, what's, can I go beyond them? What's back here? Okay, nothing. I, interesting. Huh. Uh, okay. Your mind seems to the happier he'll be. Hmm. Uncurse, uh, the book. <laughs> the book's, book's curse now lives in the machine. I don't think you can project your caution and cautiousness into it. Think again, pal. Oh. Okay. Ugh. Aggie has lost much of much to the wolves. Still, he hunts. Hails Aggie. Spit on a son of Rome, Grimhild. Frapja. Hin Chris offers power on top of peace. Power in return for suckling the sucklings of a she wolf. That is no power. Aggie drinks the milk of bears, and he spits on sons and daughters of Rome. Aggie speaks too much of suckling. Talk plainly. No, truce with empire, Grimhild. Frapja. Yeah. <laughs> Hela, Grimhild. Hails. Not often in Latin spoken on our soil without bloodshed. It agos well of, of for our fortune. Hincrius offers us much power. Yeah, the tribes who ally with empire are greatly rewarded. But I can name no tribe who would be as powerful as you, Grimhild, if you are good to that man. Afraid not. Don't speak of marriage at this time. Ah, why scold me? Would it not go well for our future and yours? A secure peace for all with much power to you and benefits? Would you not like to have fine skills, Grimhild, in spices and fine creams? Uh, it's not the cream that she's thinking about. I'll tell you that right now. Hell yeah, small bird. Ave <laughs> Barbarian. Hails. I stand before you in the name of Emperor Tergreus Julius Caesar Divus, Dominus of these lands. The Imperator's birthday is next Mercury's day. It is a big birthday. He will be 40. Sign his birthday card, Barbarian, and the Empire shall look at you with favor favor upon your tribe. Uh, when we are in public, you call me Barbarian. I will sign the card. Threaten him. Threaten him. Step aside, Hincrius, or I will go right through you. I do not respond to threats. You respond to me or you'll die. Look at me. What would happen to the man who stands in my way? I don't respond to rhetorical questions. I don't ask questions. Vex me further and I'll kill your entire family. I don't respond to threats. You respond to me or you'll die. I don't respond to threats. Okay, so it is... Uh, stands in my way. How would you like to die today? I don't respond to open questions. Why do you persist in vexing me? Do you remember what happened when you first annoyed me? How much longer do you mean to do this? 
Uh, I don't respond to recall and process questions. I made my thumbs bedfellows of your eyes. Do you remember that? You Are you attached to your eyes? Do you think it will be... Do you think you will be by sunset? No! Okay, so look at me. Uh, how would you like to die? Uh, first annoyed me. Are you attached to your eyes? Fair Grimhild, it is fairly won. You are right. I would not wish to lose my eyes and be deprived in turn of your fine beauty. It's not personal, Henry. It's just a birthday card. Never return to this place. Are you attached to your eyes? A sharp wit is yours, indeed, Grimhild. But oh, if you had only lashed me with a Latin tongue, your barbs would ring like great poetry. You bore me with your Latin. A birthday card to Emperor Gratus Caesar Divus is as powerful document. There is no better opportunity for the tribes to go north to gain Caesar's notice and favor. Punch the card into the sky. <laughs> it became a constellation. Interesting. The curse has, that has once lodged within the forbidden and nasty text has been unwritten and undone, and you find a fascinating final chapter you did not notice before. Ten new ways to prepare mutton. What a beauty. Meat expertise increases meat drops. Oh, I'm excited to cook something. And I can read it. Nice. And there's one more chapter. Uh, talks about... Start reading. Meaty ex... Wow. Keep reading. Oh, it's the infinite one for meat drops. Not right now. Okay. What meat drops is that? How much meat drops do I get from that? So I got 25 there. 30 there. 30 there. Oh my god, so much meat. Anyone like mutton? <laughs> okay. Wait, where's Charles? Hey, where's, where's Charles? Uh, he went to deal with some interference we were getting back at the detectotron i would be i thought he'd be back by now actually well don't worry about it go get some sleep okay if you say so charles asked me today for you to pick a third store of course the first applicant is rodkin's fine jewelry a jewelry store second is le table enchante high-end kitchen store and the last is bertram's bakery uh he makes a good loaf I don't want to do the fine jewelry, but the bakery sounds nice. I mean, what would I even need the bakery for? I mean, there's food, obviously, right? And there's the fancy kitchen place, and then there's the jeweler. Let's go. I don't really need any jewelry. Let's go with the bakery. That sounds good. Okay, I'll, I'll move, get it moved in. Thanks, Jess. Sleepy time. I still need to get barbecue sauce for that one guy. Yet another fitful dream. Oh, three statues of you, each whispering. Listen. The whisper drifts in and out and mixes together, making it hard to understand. All I got, all I ever, all I'm doing, brawn, sturdy, bluffing. Shut one of them up. No tongue. Okay, which one? The scowling one. You quiet one of them. Now you can hear the others talk. I got pep talk. Nice. Oh, was that it? Oh, okay. That's not it. Oh, hi. I'm this guy. My research wasn't thorough enough. Oh, yeah, because he's still alive in the portal. Huh? What did you do, you idiot? Something prevented me from entering. Oh. I can't read those fast enough. Will the barrier hold without me? Perhaps through this there is an ending. One can hope. Yet another fitful dream. Huh. Just 
Step on through. My room. Okay, so it's a little tedious, but now we gotta touch everything again. Uh, take a look. Rub the crystal. It gives me three to magical weapon attacks. This gives me three to range weapon attacks. Uh, stench armor. Uh, three to melee weapon attacks. And that's it right now, right? I believe so. Tootsie, thank God you're finally awake. Am I? If you say so, what's eating you? I'm at my wit's end. Charles Wallace has gone missing. Really, where'd he go? He wouldn't be missing if I knew that. She closes her eyes and takes a deep breath. Okay, okay, I'm panicking. Come on, Jessica, don't panic. I don't know where he went before he was missing. I, or I do know where he went before he went missing. What happened? We were having trouble getting the Detectotron to focus on the next artifact, and we could get was the Big Moist. The Big Moist? The Big Moist? <laughs> it's a swamp north of Pork Porkham, and I'm pretty sure that the entire swamp is not the cursed artifact in question. Charles went out there yesterday afternoon to see if a, if a, if a downed power line or something was causing the interference. Well, and he has come back. No, no, he hasn't. Maybe I should go looking for him. Are you trying to drive me crazy? Come on, get a wiggle on for crying out loud. Charles could have been in by Go Gatorman by now. Map of the Big Moist. And the Big Moist bus stop. <laughs> Excuse me, in by what now? Gatorman, you know. I, I don't, which seems like a good thing. The Big Moist is home to a tribe of nasty, belligerent, half-people, half-alligators. They don't take kindly to intruders, such as, for example, Charles Wallace. Or presume, or me, presumably? Are you chickening out on me now? When a friend's life is possibly at stake? Is this map a slice of Swiss cheese? It's a sponge. Which deli have you been going to? A sponge is definitely not a map. You're going to a swamp. It's soft, damp, and has holes in it. What do you want from me? Oh, right, okay. I'm on my way. Oh my goodness, Jessica, calm down. 11 messages? Two, it's probably a two. Oh god, call the mob. Tech, uh, 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 stick to English, please, or I quit. <laughs> your resistance to the international forms of communicating may prove to have hindrancing effects on the, your future, or organization pauses pa ambitions of operating worldwide. I'll jump off the bridge when I get to it. What do you need? An incomplex requisition, a team of our operatives transporting a shipment of alcohol through the local wetlands encountered difficulties and were compiled to abandon their submarine. Submarine? The wetlands proved to be drier than we had anticipated. Uh-huh. So you need me to recover the booze? Where do you want me to take it? You may retain the booze as your recom recom recompense. Our only requirement is that it not be acquired by the probation agents. For fear that they may discover our fingerprints upon it. Oh, yeah. Glass bottles do take fingerprints pretty readily. Alright. I'm on it. Call Rufus. Uh, the number you have dialed is not in service. Please hang up and... Rufus? Oh, it's you. Tootsie. Sorry about the subterfuge. I had to tap it into the university line to get a power down... Power phone down here. To... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, it isn't. And that isn't strictly speaking legal. Anyway, I think I have figured out the next step in building my quantum telecommunications device. Can you come by my lab as soon as possible? Okay, we'll see you soon. Speakeasy, let's get a drink. Order a drink. Um, so we want this one because it's mysticality and moxie. And then we want ranged weapon attacks. Bottoms up. Okay. Does it still say about month month or fumper dink? Yep. Yeah, no kidding. Whoa, hello. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to look up, but we'll do it just in case. Alright. Let's see. Let's go to... Oh, wait, there's a new shop. Don't take the bus. Stop. There's a new shop. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. 
We got a bread store in town. Oh. <clears throat> Bertram's Bakery. Hi, are you Bertram? I'm Tootsie, a friend of Charles. Well, heck, call me Bert. Pleased as much, pleased as punch to meet you. Tootsie, any friend of Charles is a friend of mine. In fact, I'll give you a friend discount. Wow, really? Sure. Just assume that all my prices would be 10% higher if it, if it if we weren't friends. Alrighty, what's for sale? Crusty roll. Slice of burnt toast. Frozen toast. Alright, buy two, buy two. Uh, buy two, buy two. Oh, that's the man in rich flour, actually. I'm gonna buy, like, ten of those for some reason. Uh, and then we'll buy three of those. Because why not? Uh, hey, Tootsie, say, you wouldn't have to have 150 pounds of sugar I could borrow, would you? Uh, let me think. No? Well, shucks. If you don't find 150 pounds of sugar laying around somewhere, would you let me know? Uh, sure. All right. Well, now we got to find this guy 150 pounds of sugar. All right, let's go to the bus stop. We'll go to campus, and then from campus we will go to Rufus's lab. I'm missing places here, but probably other classes is what they would be. Uh, you had your head pops out of the storm drain. It must be to use that a head pops out of the storm drain. It must be that you use textbook salesman again. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Advance grants a spell damage perk. Uh, no thanks. I don't do spell damage. Oh, hello again. What's the next step? I don't have to go back in the sewers, do I? Oh no, this is much more straightforward. Well, your part of it will be anyway. That's what I like to hear. I need some way to broadcast the quantum signal from this fisherman pearl over a broad area as possible. And I figured the most robust transmission network available is the commercial radio band. The nearest broadcast tower is the radio shack at WGCR in the Big Moist. Okay, what do I do there? Uh, just take this transmitter. I built a plug in there to a console. That will transmit a special frequency out over the radio. Then I just need a bunch of different test readings so I can adjust the signal for latency, data loss, and so forth. Uh, all you have to do is find as many random radios as you can, tune into the WGCR, and use this receiver to test the transmissions. At least 10 different radios should be enough. Let's call it 11, and just in case. Gotcha. Okay. So, the Big Moist, Chapter 4. We have made it to the fourth chapter of the game. Um, I can definitely say... Oh, this is awesome. Okay. I can definitely say this is probably going to be better to me than the, than the stupid um, uh, place we just were. The school. So uh, we will end here the episode net for now. Um, thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another episode. Um, I appreciate everybody for watching. Please subscribe if you have not already. Um, like the video. And uh, if you want to get notified when these videos go live, you can go ahead and ring that bell. Otherwise, we will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.